Hey, this is Doug from Doug and Nikki, and I'm here in the outdoor testing studio where it is time to get ready for RV season. And here under my arm is a cool new trailer hitch, which should be perfect. It's made of aircraft grade aluminum, fully adjustable. All right, let me stop blabbing about it and show you what it's like. Let's open it up and talk about it. So while I open it up, I do need to tell you this was provided to me to do this review, but with absolutely no instructions. So I'm gonna give you my honest Doug score of a one if it sucks, five if it's ridiculously awesome. Um, and let's check it out and see what it is. So the beauty of this is it is aircraft grade aluminum. So while being ridiculously strong, it is super lightweight for what it is. In addition to being adjustable height wise, it has two different size balls. So you don't have to keep switching balls back and forth. Look at this. Okay, this looks like artwork. Check this out. Number one, it is hefty. Number two, it is really, really nicely made. Let me show you this. Yeah, so this is the ball. Obviously you have a two inch ball or a two and five sixteenth ball, depending upon what you're gonna do. This has a rating of about 8,000. This goes all the way up to 18,000 pounds of a rating. The unit comes with two lockable pins, which obviously does two things for you. Number one, the fact that it's lockable, additional safety, it's not gonna get stolen. But how easy is that when you need to adjust? Let's say, let's say you're using your RV and you decide you're gonna go and you're gonna rent a little U-Haul uh, to go drag around bikes or something while you're on vacation. You don't want your drop to be all messed up. So all you have to do with this is pull the pin, slide it up or down. I'll show you how that works. Put it back in, you're ready to go. And then when you come back to your RV, you can just adjust it back super easy. So flexible, so cool. I wanna say, huh, but it's not. <laughs> this is aluminum. Look, it is incredibly light. Do you know what this would weigh if it was steel? Do you know how much harder it is to make this out of aluminum than it is to steel? You can see the machine work is great on this. Um, has a really nice coating on it, so it's gonna last a long time. This goes into your receiver. You take the lock, put it through, lock it in. Okay, and it is safely attached to your vehicle. You have two adjustments depending upon the depth of your receiver and the offset you want. Now we need to put the ball on it and put it at the right height for our trailer to maintain that balance we want. So let me show you how this goes. Let's say we're going with the massive one up on top, right? So we're, we're, we got a giant trailer. So we want this massive ball. And let's talk about this. Like, let's say we have a massive pickup truck with a lift on it, right? So we don't want this mounted up here. We want a nice offset lowering where it is mounted on the vehicle. So we pick the hole that makes for the right balance that we're looking for. Same process, put this on, turn the key, click it in. There you go, take the key off, check it and you are mounted up. So now let's say you don't have a massive pickup truck with the big lift. Let's say you have a, a normal setup on it. You're picking up a smallish trailer that doesn't require this kind of offset. You want it pretty, pretty straight on. Just lift it up, put the lock back on. And now you're perfectly parallel. How cool is that? How easy is that? How well built is this? A little hard to believe. I think this is an absolute five out of five game changer, making your life easier, safer, better. Hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time.